Good morning. All right, y'all. So, um, I've still been typing a blog on this 115 year old typewriter that my husband brought home. Um, but I don't want to fail to, um, share it. So I'm actually going to read it to you because my typing is horrible. Uh, and I'm barely learning about my sh machine. It's definitely needs some adjustments, but, uh, it's been very therapeutic for me. The title of today's blog is Not Just a Guitar. Yesterday, I had phoned in early to grant access to our church sanctuary. Around 11 a.m., I arrived. The church was quieter than usual. I was buzzed in and John had quickly disappeared. It was okay. I made my way home to the altar, the feeding room, the sanctuary. It was cold and only one small can light shone from the ceiling. I sat beneath it and gathered my things. Guitar, check. Shoe tambourine, check. Myself, still had to go. I hummed a sweet melody and asked God to meet with me there. I was overwhelmed with warmth and I began to sing, the king is in the room, tears. I now stood at my quote unquote place for Sunday worship, but yesterday I was free to roam. A song continued and I needed my bells. I strapped the tambourine to my boot and headed down to the old wooden cross. This rickety cross stands in one corner of the sanctuary. At the finish of each service, pastor invites others to meet her there for prayer. And she also encourages people to post or nail a request upon it. The cross is full, it's full. The cross is full to the above average reach. Folded papers, all representing someone's burden or request are laid down, crucifying it. My eyes locked upon the cross. This is why I had come, to sit at the foot of the cross and praise my King. No requests, no agenda, just a thank-filled heart that I could come into the Father's beautiful house. When I say it is beautiful, it is, and rich in history. So I sang, I strummed the guitar, put my foot to good use, and I poured out. I cried when the words couldn't come, and I talked with God. The place stayed quiet, and after two hours, it had again become cold. When I left, I lay that guitar gently, like a baby, across the whole back seat of my car. But it wasn't that way two hours prior. I woke to the fact that this was not just some guitar and that it was indeed an important gift. On the way downtown to church, I was pretty focused on remembering everything I thought I would need. Meds, keys, water bottle, bells, guitar, Bible, yep, all of that. When I was entering my car, I casually tossed the guitar on the passenger seat and it slid on its back to the floorboard. Dang, I just tuned that, I thought to myself. Oh, well, it isn't hard. I continued. A vision came over me of our, our guitarist at church ushering in his electric acoustic each week. It is pretty. It's locked and it's secured in a hard case. You can tell it's his baby. When the image crossed my mind, I felt conviction. But why? Weird, but okay. I began to justify in my mind why it was a different circumstance, guitar, and quality of instrument. Well, if mine had electric outputs, I would too, type of thinking. I was missing the point. I then said, I mean, I just found it. Lies. Did I buy it for myself? No. Did someone gift it to me? No, not that I knew. Uh, and I believe that I had bought it for my now adult daughter during her high school band days. Anyways, it wasn't like my grandma gave it to me. The light bulb then turned on. In that moment, I could see what I had not been able to before. Depending on if we buy something ourselves or it's gifted from a spouse or a, a really cherished loved one, 
It's seemingly more important than a gift from a colleague or acquaintance. Am I right? Or am I right? Anyways, my grandmother is the one I cherish the items I have gifted or inherited. She's 86 and still here, but her importance and impact on my life is what keeps these things cherished. When this thought crossed my mind, I knew this music maker was not stumbled on by mistake or a dispensable instrument holding no value. This guitar was a gift from God. Early November, I had grown bored on bed rest, so I started to move stuff around. If I had energy, I would uh, use it to purge anything that wasn't fit for my new future. Th this is when I found this guitar. It has grown me. It has healed me. And it has allowed me to praise even when I don't have the words or don't have the breath. I thought to myself, God's gift, just like Jason, it was revealed to me pri prior that Jason is a gift from God and I need to be kind and love him. <laughs> I stopped in my car and I looked around me. Is it possible that everything around me is really a gift from God. I had a new car making it possible to keep driving. Jackets lay about in scarves, an umbrella. Thank you, Father, I said aloud. Everything I have that is good is a gift from God. I guess it wasn't just some randomly found guitar after all. It was the Holy Spirit speaking into my heart. I have to take good care of the things that the Lord has given me. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy this blog today. Um, and I encourage you to just keep leaning into God. Keep talking to him. Even if you don't know what to say. Even if you're mad. You know. God wants our anger too. He wants to hear from us. He loves us, um, and he's the only one who can do anything.